how crucial is the scaling of compute to building AGI? This is a question that's an engineering question. It's a almost a geopolitical question hmm. because it also integrated into that is the supply chains and energy yes. a thing that you care a lot about, which is um, potentially fusion. Yes. So innovating on the side of energy yeah. also. Do you think we're gonna keep scaling compute? I think so, for several reasons. I think compute, there's there's the amount of compute you have for training. Uh, often it needs to be co-located. So actually even like, you know, uh, bandwidth constraints between data centers can affect that. So it's, 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 there's additional constraints even there. And that, that's important for training, obviously the largest models you can, but there's also, because now AI systems are in products and being used by billions of people around the world, you need a ton of inference compute now. Um, and then on top of that, there's the thinking systems, the new paradigm uh, of the last year that, uh, where they get smarter, the longer amount of inference time you give them at test time. So all of those things need a lot of compute. And I don't really see that slowing down. Um, and as AI systems become better, they'll become more useful and there'll be more demand for them. So both from the training side, the training side actually is, is only just one part of that. It may even become the smaller part of, of what's needed yeah. um, uh, uh, in the overall compute that that's required. Yeah, that's one sort of almost meme kind of thing, which is like the success and the incredible aspects of VO3 there's like, uh, people kind of make fun of like the more successful it becomes the you know the servers are sweating yes exactly. <laughs> to do the inference <laughs> yeah yeah exactly we did a little video of of the, of the servers frying eggs and yeah. things and um that's right and 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 we're gonna have to figure out how to do that um there's a lot of interesting hardware innovations that we do as you know we have our own tpu line and we're looking at like inference only things inference only chips and how we can make those more efficient we're also very interested in building ai systems and we have done the help with energy usage so help um data center energy like for the cooling systems be efficient um grid optimization um and then eventually things like helping with uh, plasma containment fusion reactors. We've done lots of work on that with Commonwealth Fusion and also uh, one could imagine reactor design um, and then material design, I think is one of the most exciting new types of solar material, solar panel material, super room temperature superconductors has always been on my list of dream breakthroughs and um, optimal batteries. And I think a solution to any, you know, one of those things would be absolutely revolutionary for, you know, climate and energy usage. And we're probably close, you know, and again, in the next five years to having AI systems that can materially help with those problems.